decided I had to come shoot during this and do a quick episode. I'm gonna try to get down to the pier, see what's going on. I don't even know if the pier is open. This is what California looks like right now. It is not evening, it's not morning, it is about noon. And that's what the sky looks like and the phone's still not doing it justice. It is so much darker outside right now than what is what, than what I'm seeing on the screen. Apocalyptic, to say the least. I got an N95 on and the bandana, it's so dark. It might as well be nighttime. Right, yeah, this is crazy. There's people out just looking at the air, looking at how incredibly strange this is right now. I've never seen anything like this. It's not in all the fires that I've experienced in California. This is something else for sure. Luckily the pier is open. They've got lights on as if it's night. Uh, there's people out there, so I'm gonna get to drop the camera. Luckily, in my favor, the water is super calm. Barely any waves. There is actually a surfer out there. Kind of amazing. I can't imagine surfing when it looks like this. That must be a surreal experience. As if this isn't surreal right now. It's so crazy looking out here. <sighs> My poor home state. dropping anything more high-tech than my 20 year old Sony VX 700 so I'm using the old GoPro 3 super futuristic compared to what I was using and I'm only gonna use 50 feet of rope so I want this to dangle like the very first video I want this to hover under the surface by about 10 or 20 feet maybe get another school of anchovies I want to see that with this type of light the fires are going off like this what does it look like underwater? I wonder how that would affect the, the wildlife. So I can't be using my normal short rope. It's gonna be the crab rope, crab harness here. Connect this, four corners. I don't really know how this is going to uh, balance out. But here we go, here's the experiment. Hey, not bad. That works.
drop it. Between two pilings over here. The water looks surprisingly clear for out here. I can see the red light on the GoPro pretty far down. So we'll see what happens. But other than that, and slowly go back in there. lot of photographers out here right now because it's just so crazy looking can't blame them that's why I'm here too when conditions are like this I want to see how much that's actually affecting the water color visibility it does look strangely clear today different currents coming up a lot of times it's an upwelling of really cold water from further out and that can make water really clear if that's the case we might actually see some really cool stuff I do fear that the GoPro being weighted only with a one pound sinker, which you would know that if you watched episode four. Is this a bouncy ball? No, it's a sinker. Uh, it's probably gonna move quite a bit in the surge. But again, luckily the water's really calm. There's not a lot of surge going on. The first drop, I was pretty close to the piling. It was a little making me a little nervous because the camera was swaying pretty far, but it was fine. It didn't get caught up, obviously, because I pulled it up. There may not be anything on these shots, but I feel like this video is worth it just to kind of document this crazy moment. I've just, I've never seen anything like this and it, it is heartbreaking for sure. Got a photographer by my camera. You're on YouTube now. Yep. 10 million subscribers. That's right, 10 million subscribers. What's up guys? Yeah. Follow, subscribe. Follow, subscribe. Chill out, what you filming? Uh, the GoPro down in the cage. About 20 feet underwater right there. That's the, the rope. Just trying to see what the, how much this is affecting light visibility and whatnot. I mean, it's just so surreal out here right now. Yeah, man. Right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. yeah, just to document it, you know? Yeah, yeah, me too. Like, I don't really take photos. It's just, right. you gotta do something with like this. Right, it's crazy. Well, good luck, man. So I still have several episodes that I've already filmed that I need to edit, but I'm gonna put this one up first interjected into all the camping videos because I just feel like this is super important and this is happening right now. So it's September 9th. Um, this is just unreal. We got some good footage down there and such a completely weird strange day 
out here. And I know most of the state looks like this. Um, to see it like this on the coast, where a lot of this kind of thing blows off, it just shows how severe it is. And I'm hearing that people can see smoke in like Montana and stuff. Definitely up in the Pacific Northwest. Smoke from California fires. It's kind of unbelievable. But anyways, thanks for checking this out. Hope everyone stays safe.